Welcome to Bikini Bottom Inquirer. Here's your anchor. And here's your host. You know his name. You know his marvelous mustache. The one, the only, Lurch Lurkins. Um, that's Perch Perkins? I'm the one who doesn't have a mustache. Oh, hmm. Hey, I, I could grow a mustache too if I wanted. Yeah, whatever. Here's Perch Perkins. Thank you, I think. Here's tonight's top stories. Crazy Goggles! The hottest new product sweeping the ocean is being recalled thanks to a horrifying side effect. Then, the number of brand new TV sets being thrown directly in the trash skyrockets to a record-breaking one. Stay tuned to find out why. And lastly, a fight between neighbors escalates into a tragic imaginary disaster. Wow, that is hard to imagine. But first, residents of Bikini Bottom can't get enough of Crazy Goggles, an apparent new wavy way of seeing. I need my glasses. But are these water goggles safe? We have received numerous reports that users of these new goggles have noticed a terrifying side effect, having their normal fish eyes temporarily transformed into what experts are calling grotesque human eyes. <coughs> we here at the Bikini Bottom Inquirer are performing an investigation to learn exactly what a so-called human is. But if these horrifying eyeballs are any indication, a human is certainly some kind of disgusting monster. <coughs> oh. oh, sorry, Hans. I forgot you were here. That's our intern. Now, let's check in with Doodle Bob for his thoughts in our new segment, Drawing Conclusions. It's time for Drawing Conclusions with Doodle Bob. <laughs> Mm, mm-hmm, yeah, got it. Thanks, thanks, th thanks for that, Doodle Bob. This has been Drawing Conclusions with Doodle Bob. But now, the newest hot topic sweeping the ocean. Boxes. It, uh, boxes? Did I read that right? Oh, oh, okay, just regular boxes. That's right. While local television manufacturer Sam Swum was investigating a new trend of consumers throwing their brand new TVs directly in the trash, they discovered an alarming pattern. An overwhelming majority of cable programs seem to revolve exclusively around boxes. It is here that the boxes reach their final stage of assembly. The equation is illustrated here by this box. I couldn't afford a present this year. So I got you this box. That's what I got you! While we all love a good box-related story, is it possible viewers are getting tired of all the boxes? Isn't there anything on that isn't about boxes? Are boxes becoming square? We have local skeleton Smitty Werben Jaegerman Jensen with his thoughts on line two. Perch phone, line two. Oh, of course. Perch phone, line one. Mr. Werben Jaegerman Jensen, can you hear me? Yeah, I spend most of my time inside a box. So believe me when I tell you that television writers are just not thinking outside the box. I mean, they have box romances, boxumentaries. Even boxing has been taken over by boxes. It's disgusting, man. So, you're saying people don't want to watch content exclusively about boxes? <laughs> okay, kind of a hot take, but whatever you say. Perch, believe me. Now for our top story. Imaginary disaster strikes Bikini Bottom. We turn to Lurch Lurkins live on the scene. Hooray, finally. Hey, announcer guy, zip it. Thanks, Perch. <laughs> Nice stash, Lurch. Why, thank you. Come on, Lurch! The story! I'm Lurch Lurkins, live at the scene of what started as a verbal dispute between neighbors, which has quickly gotten out of hand. 
No, no, hand, not Hans. Where, where are the ears on you? Politicians and citizens alike have criticized Bikini Bottom's new box-kicking law. Attention! We have you surrounded! Come out with your hands up! <gasps> Obviously, I violated some new box-kicking law. But when repeat box-kicking offender Squidward Q-Tentacles kicked his latest box, the ocean finally saw just how necessary the new law is. Because the careless violation of that law triggered an imaginary avalanche so horrible that it wouldn't be right to show it on TV. And here's the footage. Well, you two, shut up! Oh! Oh, the humanity! I'm imagining the horror right now. Oh, that's awful. Hang in there, buddy. The chopper's on the way. SpongeBob. My legs are frozen solid. Oh, that's terrible. The saw. No, Patrick, I can't do that. Why not? Because I already cut off my own arms. No! I, I, I can't look away. All the imaginary nightmares this will give me. An imaginary investigation into the perpetrator is underway as imaginary police investigate this imaginary crime scene. Lurch, do you have any word on how this argument started? Yes, we do, Perch. Based on this footage and my own wild speculation, it is overwhelmingly obvious that the victim attempted to cast some sort of rainbow magic spell on Mr. Tentacles. You heard it here first, folks. Box-dwelling rainbow wizards run rampant in Bikini Bottom. If I were you, I'd panic. <laughs> One witness, Gerald Gary Wilson Jr., had this to say. Meow. Which we take to be absolute confirmation that our assessment is correct. The box in question also gave its opinion, saying this. Which we take as confirmation of Gary's confirmation, confirming that the confirmation of our assessment is confirmed. I'm Lurch Lurkins. Yay! Back to you, Perch. Boo! Ugh. I'm Perch Perkins, and I promise I will grow a mustache! Won't matter. Ugh. And that's all the news that's fit to float. Good night. Lurch in his mustache. I could grow a mustache. I, I could grow sideburns and a mustache if I wanted to, which I don't, but I could. Ugh. Lurch's mustache, the bane of my existence.